Oh, hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, in this one, I'm going to do a box opening of sort. A bunch of packages I ordered recently all came together into one larger box that I opened up yesterday and just pulled everything out. I was about to start opening it all up when I said this might be a good video to, uh, to set up and show people what's in it. But I decided not to have the big box sitting on the table here with all the wrappings in it. So hopefully you understand. Most of this stuff that came in relates to my latest edition, my Sony ZV-E1 camera. These are accessories that I've been planning on getting for it. And it's not all of them, not all the accessories yet. Some of them I still have in my box to possibly order in the near future, but I decided to hold off on those for now and see how this stuff works out. Now I'll start off with the one thing that is not related to the camera, and that is a new hard drive. This is a six terabyte surveillance hard drive that I ordered, and it's to replace the surveillance hard drive that's in my existing security system, which has been getting some errors. Matter of fact, it rebooted a couple of times as a result of it too, in my opinion. So I'll change the drive out because the history of the errors is quite high on it, and we'll see how it all works out. So this particular one is a Seagate surveillance drive, standard paperwork that they Put in with the drive, right? See so the drive itself. Yep, there it is. The Seagate Skyhawk, which is a surveillance drive, six terabytes. And it's the same size, the maximum size that my existing uh, security system can support. So I'll put this one in as a replacement to it, and hopefully, you know, that's going to take care of the problem. I think the other one is actually still under warranty. So I may actually try to get that one returned and have it as a backup. So that's the one thing that has nothing to do with the camera, but I wanted to show it to you since it was in the larger box anyway, and I hadn't opened it up. So I'll put this on the side here. Now let me start with some of the little things first. I bought some new power bricks. These are two amp power bricks. As you may recall from the video where I opened up the box with my ZVE1 in it, I also purchased at the same time the Rode dual microphone system. Well, when you go to charge that, it uses three power bricks, one for the receiver and one for an additional two for the two transmitters. So I just needed a couple of extra in order to handle that whenever I'm recording it. The other ones seem to be all allocated to purposes that I'd rather not pull them off of. The other thing I purchased was, now you may not understand how this fits in yet, but it's to help me with the camera in terms of connectivity to the PC. The actual camera has a micro USB connector, as you may recall, that's on the side here, which you can connect up to the PC or you could connect up to a brick to charge it. Now, I plan on connecting it to the PC quite often, probably for remote control. And the cable that I have right now, the USB-C cable to a USB-A, is really not that long. It's only about four feet long. So what I bought here is another 10-foot cable extension. This is an actual extension for USB 3.0. I have one of those already on one of my cameras, which I don't want to uh, use for this purpose. So I just went ahead and ordered that so that I have that extension as well. So that takes care of the connectivity of it, right? Then this is an interesting one. I'll have to uh, pop it open here also for the camera, but it's really for the SD cards that are in it. I decided to get a more higher performance USB-C to uh, SD card. It also has the small micro SD card that can be plugged into it as well. And the reason I got this is that the new camera, the ideal SD card to get is actually a, a U2 or SC2 type, which has a lot more connectors to it. And it runs really slow otherwise. So this should give me a bit more speed in copying my SD cards over to my PC. We'll test it out probably in a later video, but for now, that's what I, that's what I bought it for. Okay, so put this over on the side. Now this one here, I have to open it up as well. This is going to be a hint into the last piece. It is a UV, but the UV filter, which I use to protect my lenses, something I learned years ago, back when I just had a regular 35 millimeter, you always put a UV on it, if not some other type of filter in order to protect the real lens, because these are cheap compared to uh, the lens getting stretched up. And that has happened to me. 
on one of my, my original 35 millimeter camera, which I bought when I was still a teenager using money I earned during a summer job. And I accidentally scratched up the main lens, but this is an 82 millimeter. Now this camera does not have an 82 millimeter lens to it, right? At least not on the outside. Matter of fact, I've already got a UV filter on this one that I purchased at the same time, but that's only what a 40, 40 millimeter, I believe 40 or 42. Well, I need an 82 for the next package I'm opening up. So that's why I bought this UV filter. The big thing here inside the package is a new Sigma 24 to 70 millimeter 2.8, uh, what they were called the, um, what is it? The art lens. It's that the art line that Sigma sells and it's made specifically for the Sony E-frame camera. Now I didn't open this up at all. I'm going to open it up now and we'll take a look at what's inside the standard paperwork that comes with it. I'll have to read through some of this. Maybe I can find an online manual. I didn't look yet, but I've have reviewed a lot of videos that people did. And uh, it looks like there's a strap, a shoulder strap for this. Yep. That's what that is. A shoulder strap because this thing comes with its own little case. So yeah, it looks like it stretch out probably about at least three feet. So that's pretty good. Let's take this thing out of the box. Oh, it's a nice little cushion case that it comes with. It's got dual zippers on it. Let me open it up. See what we got inside. Oh, and there it is. It's got a nice hard foam top to it. This case is good, but I'm also going to use my waterproof case that I bought specifically for the camera. There's a spot for a lens that hopefully this fits into it. Is that everything? Yeah. So here's the lens and here's the sun shield to it. Massive sun shield, 82 millimeter, right? And then the lens itself. One of the biggest complaints about this lens is it's quite heavy and they are absolutely right. It is on the heavier side. What I'll do is I'll put this on the camera and we'll see what it looks like. So let me do that. Take the camera. I'll take this lens off it's the kit lens that I bought with it. Right. Push the little button, turn it counterclockwise. I'll take the little cover off the back of the lens. I see the white dot matches the white dot on my camera. That's pretty good. So I'll put this in here and it locks in place. And there it is. This is something you have to hold by the lens. Obviously the camera is so light compared to the lens. The lens is uh, quite hefty. I'll have to look in the specs and see what the specs are and put them on the screen here in terms of its weight, but it feels like it's at, you know, a couple, three pounds just for the lens itself. So let me uh, turn this on. Well, I'll put the, uh, as long as I got it, let me put the, uh, <laughs> the UV filter on right away so that there's no, uh, there's no damage to the lens itself. Cap off and I'll put the UV filter on. Hopefully it's the right. Yeah. 82. I did look it up before I ordered it. There we go. So if I turn this on, I'll open up the camera, turn it on, see what we got. Well, there it is. It sees through the lens, right? I didn't mean to do a massive demo of this lens here. I will look at it a little bit more carefully and I'll probably do it in my next video about this camera. I'll show you the different types of pictures I could take with this lens. There's a scale up there, 24 to 70 and 70. It extends quite far. Look at that. It does a good job closing up, closing in on it. So that's my new toys. Well, toys for my toy. How's that? Hopefully you got something out of this video. I will put, uh, links to all of these products that I've gotten down in the bottom of this video. And, uh, if you see something you liked, take a look.